What if Starfield gets delayed again? Starfield was originally going to release just four days ago at the time of recording, and it was delayed to the first half of 2023, which obviously was just a huge bummer for all of us. Now, a while ago, around a month ago, I believe, I made a video discussing whether or not Starfield has been delayed again. I actually even mentioned this just yesterday in our Starfield release date speculation video, but I do not think that Starfield has been delayed again. But there is a chance, even if it is very, very small. See, all of these Has Starfield Been Delayed Again videos started coming out for a few reasons. Now, the main reason is simply, I think, because the game is supposed to release within the first half of 2023, so that's like anywhere between January 1st and the 15th of June. At the Xbox and Bethesda presentation slash showcase, it was confirmed that Microsoft would put Starfield out within the next year. Again, that showcase took place in June, so Starfield is supposed to be coming out within the next, like, seven and a half months at most. Now, why did that start the speculation that the game got delayed again and pushed back even further? The main reason is because a lot of games don't like to release in the summertime, aka around June. The reason for that is because video games sell a lot, and I mean like a lot, lot less, in the summertime, which is why at the end of most years in the wintertime, we just see a pile of really good games coming out. So realistically, Bethesda and Microsoft would want to ideally get Starfield out before May. Now here's the problem, that's only like six months away, and we still don't have an official release date. And that is why a lot of people started to speculate about whether or not Starfield has been delayed again. I mean, you can't really delay a game that doesn't have a release date, but when I say delay, I mean push to the back of 2023, or even further, rather than the first half of 2023 like planned. Now we've already discussed whether or not Starfield has been delayed on the channel, so I'm not going to go into too much information about it. I don't think the game has been delayed. If you subscribe to me and watch that video, you'll know that. I don't think that it's been pushed back. As I said in yesterday's video, I think Starfield could have come out on Friday like of this year on the 11th of November, like they originally planned. Skyrim and Fallout 4 were really buggy on release, but still playable, and I think the Starfield would have just basically been in the same boat. The only difference is that this time Bethesda are now owned by Microsoft. We know that somebody from Microsoft visited Bethesda just a couple of weeks before the delays of Starfield and Redfall, so I don't think that it was a coincidence. I think Microsoft pulled the trigger and decided to push the game back. I think it's in a ready state, and I think it has been for a few months, and I believe that Bethesda are just cleaning it up. But all I actually wanted to discuss today is what would happen if Starfield does get pushed back again. And as hard as it is for me to admit this, I would start to worry. One delay is fine, I'm actually kind of happy it happened, because all it means is we will get a more polished game when the game actually finally comes out. But a second delay is when I will really start to worry, because that means even with more months to work on Starfield, like even giving Bethesda the extra time to work on Starfield, it still isn't working right, and that obviously is a big worry as a fan, as a consumer. But even if the game does get delayed again, but it still releases in a really good state, a second delay will turn a lot of people off from this game, because it just screams, hey, this game is a buggy mess, even if it isn't, right? I personally feel we as gamers, as consumers, are more cautious about bugs now than we ever have been, and that's because of the millions of fans that basically got lied to and spat on by games such as Cyberpunk and Fallout 76. Both of these games should not have legally been allowed to release in the state that they were in. You can disagree with that, and that's fine. I genuinely don't think that they legally, by law, should have been allowed to be sold to the public in the state that they were in. They weren't finished, and the marketing was just straight up lying. That's just the way I see it. I mean, look, say what you want about these games now, I really like Cyberpunk now. I made an entire video talking about how good I think it is. I still think that Fallout 76 is hot garbage, but either way, you can say what you want about them now, but both Bethesda and CD Projekt Red lied to consumers in order to sell their unfinished games. There's no denying that. And if Starfield gets delayed again, people are going to start looking at it like it's another Fallout 76, and like it's another Cyberpunk, because again, we as gamers are more weary and more paranoid, if you will, about this stuff now. Another thing we absolutely need to take into consideration is how a second delay will affect the entire franchise's future. Now, Bethesda take a good 20 years to create sequels, but once Starfield 2 comes out, everyone will expect it to be delayed, and 
for it to just be a hot mess again. And look, I'm not saying that if Starfield gets delayed, it's automatically going to release in a buggy state. That's not what I'm saying at all, so please don't take this video the wrong way. A lot of games have more than two delays, a lot of games have more than three delays, and release in really good states. It happens. But the point is, a lot of people are very close-minded to this kind of stuff nowadays. Even after just one delay, I still see people calling Starfield the next Cyberpunk. And yes, those people are idiots, but unfortunately, a lot of people are idiots. So once again, I'm not saying that Starfield will automatically suck. I mean, it might, I just don't think it will. I'm not trying to be one of those people. I'm just saying this is how a lot of people will see it, especially if it gets delayed again. But with that said, I do feel like if the game gets delayed again, we will need to start worrying a little bit. You know I'm hyped for Starfield. I literally daydream about playing this game. I've built my entire YouTube channel slash career around this game pretty much. And if we get a second delay, I will be a hell of a lot more cautious when approaching Starfield. Again, and I know I just said this, but I need to make sure everyone understands. I am not saying if Starfield gets delayed again, it will automatically be bad. I will still be very excited for it. I will still play it on the day of release. I just really want to make that clear. And believe me, nobody on this planet, besides maybe Bethesda themselves, wants Starfield to be good more than I do. Like I said, I've built my entire career, slash channel, whatever you want to call it, around this game. Sure, I cover other stuff, but if you scroll through my channel, it is mostly Starfield. And if the game sucks, I'm obviously not going to play it then I won't know what the hell to do with my channel. I mean, I would still cover Bethesda stuff because I love Fallout and Elder Scrolls, but my channel would take a dive, I know that. So believe me when I say nobody besides God Howard himself wants this game to be good more than I do. But again, look, I don't think it's been delayed again, like I said earlier. I think we're going to see the new release date be announced at the Game Awards on December 8th. We spoke about this just yesterday. Go and check that video out if you haven't already, by the way. These are just my thoughts on what would happen if Starfield gets delayed again. A what-if scenario, if you will. I think we would see a massive amount of negativity. People would stop being interested. I mean, not everyone, like not too many people, but enough to make an impact on sales, you know. But anyway, that's all I really have to say on the matter without making this video like half an hour long. So if you did enjoy today's video, please do drop it a like. It really does help out more than you can imagine. And if you are looking for a place to stay up to date on Starfield news, leaks, discussions, breakdowns, and all the rest of it, please do consider subscribing because I really cover absolutely all of it over here. And we are super close to 2,000 subscribers. So if you do subscribe, I appreciate you and thank you for your support. Our Discord is also open if you're looking for a chill place to talk about Starfield, Fallout, Elder Scrolls, a lot of other games, share your pet pictures, talk about movies and TV shows. We've even got a little Not Safe For Work channel over there, which I know you all love. It's sort of embarrassing to admit that that's the most popular channel on Discord, but whatever you guys are into, we have fun, so consider joining us. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it for me today. As usual, I thank you all so much for watching, and I really hope to see you in the next one.